This is a really smart move from Tesla. Very good chance Tesla will follow this move, not just on the Model Y going to Canada, but also the Model Y performance going to many other countries around the world, changing the battery pack, reducing the range. Sounds bad, but actually it's good. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name's Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Thailand right now. You all know why I'm there, why I'm here in Thailand. It's, um, you know, it's quite different to Australia, and I do miss Australia. So for those of you saying, what are you doing over in Thailand? You're an idiot. You should be back in Australia. You should appreciate the country you're from. Boy, oh boy. Yes, my friends, I do appreciate the country I'm from. Don't worry about that. I'm just here because I have to be. But for every part of life, there's a time and a season, you know, this season is now and this season will change. Tesla has reduced the range of the Model Y drastically. Big difference in range for the Model Y performance. The Model Y performance being offered now in Canada, according to driveteslacanada.ca, who have done some really interesting detective work here, has been drastically reduced. There's clearly only one possible reason for doing this. So what has actually happened? What's the difference? And why have they done it? Well, I'm going to tell you why, what's happened, and then I'm going to give you my take on what I think Tesla is doing here and why it makes a hell of a lot of sense. Tesla has made another change to the Model Y lineup in Canada. This time, actually, before I go on to that, the first change they've made, the standard range Model 3 and now the standard range Model Y both come with lithium ion phosphate battery cells, we believe from CATL. So less range from those battery packs than what was previously offered, but now the cars are cheaper, they're more affordable, makes a lot of sense, plus LFP batteries are not something to, to say that they're inferior. I think in a lot of ways they're better than the previous batteries that Tesla were using. Tesla weren't using 4680 cells in these vehicles, by the way. They were using 2170. So the LFP battery choice is great. Now, it looks like Tesla will now be importing the Model Y made in China the Model Y performance, not just the Model Y standard range. So basically all Model Ys going to Canada will come from China. Makes sense, makes a lot of sense. Why? Because that's where Tesla make them at the lowest price. Since the Model Y performance was first introduced in North America, both Natural Resources Canada and the US Environmental Protection Agency have estimated the range to be 488 kilometers or 303 miles. That's lower than the 531 kilometers or 330 miles of the long range variant, which Drive Tesla Canada says is mostly due to the larger 21 inch wheels. And this is correct. I just think if I, I think Tesla should offer this, the Model Y performance with smaller wheels. I would probably want to change the wheels, make them smaller if I could to get the Model Y performance with more range, because that's the biggest thing you're getting here, right? The range goes down when you've got bigger wheels. Bigger wheels don't really do anything. They look cool, but that's it. Anyway, Tesla have changed the range on the Tesla Canada website, meaning you can now see that the vehicles have a different battery pack in them, not just the Model Y standard range, but also the Model Y performance. According to the update on Tesla's website, the range is now 459 kilometers, which is 285 miles. So only six miles more range in the Model Y performance versus the Model Y with a smaller battery pack, a structural battery pack coming out of the factory in Texas. So that means the range has been reduced from 488 kilometers in the Model Y performance down to 459 kilometers. It's also only available with a black interior. So Tesla is saying, yeah, we're gonna mass produce these cars. Um, we're not gonna give you the option of getting a white interior because you're gonna make it dirty anyway, you dirty grubs, you just get everything dirty, you plebs buying our cars. Just joking, of course. So anyhow, black interior for all Model Y performance, less range, Clearly, the battery pack has been changed to a lithium iron phosphate battery. Tesla won't tell you this, of course, but I think this is a good thing. Now, it's important to point out Tesla hasn't made any public comment about this, and it doesn't. It never will. I mean, for example, we now know that the Tesla Model Y being built at the factory in Germany, in Berlin in Germany, is using the BYD Blade battery. It's a 60 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate blade battery, and it's a structural battery pack. So that's a pretty cool thing, I think. I love the fact they're getting so much range out of such a small battery pack. It's unbelievable. If you want to see my video on that, I'll put a link in the description in case you missed it. So what this means is instead of the Model Y performance coming from the US using 2170 cells, it's now coming from China using lithium iron phosphate cells 
And more than likely, those cells are from CATL, or the battery is from CATL, but it could be from BYD. Could be the blade battery, we don't know. It doesn't really make much difference. It's gonna be the same thing regardless. So when Tesla introduced the new Model Y rear-wheel drive to Canada a few weeks ago, that's being made in China, they didn't confirm whether or not it had a lithium-ion phosphate blade battery, but seeing it has exactly the same range as the version coming from the German Gigafactory and the Chinese version and the Australian version, which all come basically have the same lithium-ion phosphate battery pack, it's very clear that that's what it's using. So I like this deduction of reasoning that Drive Tesla Canada have made to work out that this vehicle is very likely coming from China, very likely also using lithium-ion phosphate cells as well. Now, I can't confirm that it 100% is, but it's it's pretty damn likely that that's the change that's been made here, meaning the car is cheaper for Tesla to make. I mean, Tesla brings its prices down, brings its prices down, brings its prices down, margins drop. Then they think to themselves, how do we increase our margins, right? Well, Canada doesn't have any big import restrictions on cars coming from China, and it has no IRA. There's no $7,000 need for Tesla to actually make the car in Canada. So it makes total sense that Tesla would say, well, okay, we'll make it in China for a lower price, we'll put cheaper batteries in it, and then we'll sell it to you, make a higher margin. That's what I think they're doing. But remember the other thing here is that every car company who sells lithium ion phosphate powered battery packs in cars has had less recalls, everyone. It's just a fact. I mean, look how many t cars Tesla have sold with LFP batteries in them. Have you seen any recalls for those batteries? No, pretty much none that I know of anyway. So I think it's a really good move in the long term. Less recalls. Now, if you're wondering what I'm saying, have a look at the Chevy Bolt and the Bolt EUV. The Kona. Heaps of cars have been recalled, even Volkswagen EVs, with lithium ternary battery packs, right? Heaps of batteries have been recalled, even on the energy storage market, even Tesla batteries, using lithium ternary battery packs. But LFPs? been a lot less recall. So in the long run, this could also save Tesla money, but you as a customer could save you money as well. From what I can see, there's less battery degradation on LFP batteries under most conditions, meaning you're likely to get more life out of one of these battery packs. You might even find resale value could be better as a result. People might think that too, possibly. Now let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.